instead of my intro i'm gonna start off the video with a bible verse about palm sunday as it says in the gospel according to our teacher saint john chapter 12 verses 12 to 15 it says the next day a great multitude that had come to the feast when they heard that jesus was coming to jerusalem took branches of palms palm trees and went out to meet him and cry out hosanna blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord the king of israel then jesus when he had found a young donkey sat on it as it will uh, as it is written for not daughter of zion behold your king is coming sitting on a donkey colt donkey's colt and glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. To those who don't know what Palm Sunday is, Palm Sunday is a glorious feast in the Coptic Orthodox tradition, community, also with the Greek Orthodox. Greek Orthodox is celebrating with us on Sunday as well. Um, but as you guys all know, or if you don't know me personally, I am Coptic Orthodox. And my Palm Sunday is this Sunday. Lazarus Saturday is this Saturday. Um, Pascha week, which translates to Passion Week, starts um, this Saturday. Because when our Lord Jesus Christ healed Lazarus, our Lord um, Jesus Christ healed Lazarus from the was, dead. Uh, and sick. this feast is um, one of the seven major feasts um, of the Lord. The Jews and the prophets all um, plan to kill our king on that day. So that's why Passion Week starts on Saturday, um, not Sunday. Um, but Palm Sunday is the feast where when our Lord Jesus Christ rode on a donkey and entered into Jerusalem and all the people and the kids took palm branches off of palm trees, waved them up and down to our king, chanting Hosanna to the son of David. This is the king of Israel. And how do they sing it? Well, they sing it like this. Hosanna in the highest. This is the king of Israel. And continue with that um, hymn. But they, uh, people on this day, they take palm branches. And some people like making palm crosses and palm donkeys. Um and uh complex palm crosses if you guys want to see what that looks like i can show you guys a picture put it on screen right now um but i can't believe I, like i don't, i still don't know how they do that but uh it's actually pretty um pretty impressive pretty impressive <laughs> um what i like to do is i make um i like making small crosses and put it Put it on what I wear that day but um, Passion Week is such a blessing and it's actually my favorite week out of the whole Coptic year um, because I disconnect from the world and I disconnect from my phone and I try and reconnect with our Lord Jesus Christ and that's the whole reason why that's the whole reason why we should be living because we live by our Lord Jesus Christ and through him we can do all things who strengthens us Philippians 4 13 anyway guys so this is a demonstration video and I hope you guys enjoy you thought I was gonna start the video huh <laughs> I gotta plug the channel. Guys, subscribe if you haven't yet. 
share the videos, like the videos, you guys have been doing amazing, subscribe if you haven't yet, join this family, let's grow the family together, let's get to 200 subscribers by the end of the summer, I believe in you guys, I believe in us, subscribe, in 3, 2, 1, I hope you did it, you have joined the family. Happy Palm Sunday everybody. And uh, I can't believe that the great fast is almost over. I am Coptic Orthodox. Um, and our Palm Sunday and our Holy Week is next, starting this Saturday. What's this video about? Well, you guys already know from the title. I am going to be teaching you guys how to be making palm crosses. So, it's very important that you get a nice palm like this. Hold on, let me set up the camera. Right, so, it is important when you make palm crosses that you get something, some, a palm like this. This can be good. Let me just take it out like you got, sometimes you gotta rip it off. Okay, there we go. I need to put palm branches to the side around the ground. From here, um you gotta make sure that it's not that thick, because then the cross is gonna be not that great. So Alright, I made one off camera just to make sure that I uh, um, remember how to do it. And this is your finished product, but how you actually go about this when you have your end... Make sure you cut out the ends with, because you, you need flat surfaces. It'll work palm. better, trust me. And then you fold it at a 90 degree angle like that. And then, what you do here, from here, you take the bottom palm, the one that I have my hand on right now, and you bring it up towards the top. And press down on it. Now you take the top palm, and you bring it down towards the bottom again, creating this square but now I have to hold it but in a second I'm gonna lock it I'll wait for you guys to be where I'm at right now okay how do you lock it well you take the side palm this one right here and you wrap it around the other way creating a pocket and you take the end of this palm and you put it through that pocket there you go you put it through that pocket all the way through so it locks and now it's locked now you can put your hand anywhere and it's locked and from here, it's very simple. You take, um, to make the, the cross, you take it and you put it back through that pocket. And then you can leave it like this, but most people, what they do is they like the cross being centered. So, but for the demonstration, I'm just going to put it into like, so. And now you have one side of your cross. To make the other side, it's just very, it, it's very similar. You take the bottom and you wrap it around, putting it through the back end of that pocket. Size it to whatever you want. And again, you can keep it like this or most people just tuck it in like so. And that's how you guys make a palm cross, like that. Now I have two. I actually like this more. If you guys want the demonstration, 
of um, a donkey or um, people make like very advanced crosses. I don't know how they do it. I'm not that experienced. But um, this is how you just make a simple palm cross. If you guys need help with any part of the, um, of the process, comment down below. Or, or if you guys have my number, text, shoot me a text or my socials. Um, DM me and I can gladly help you guys out. But um, I hope you guys, until then, have an amazing Palm Sunday and amazing Basha Passion Week and an amazing Easter. And I'll see you guys in my next video. But until then, peace.